So what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel once again. I really appreciate having you here. Now today's video is the top five things I love about my Africa twin. While I'm stuck behind this uh, lorry turning around here and causing all this traffic here, well, this little bit of traffic, I'm going to tell you that the five things are not in any particular order. I'm going to do this in the same vein that I did the five things I hate about the Africa Twin. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you go and check that out. I will leave a link on the screen somewhere at some point in this video, so click on that and check out the five things I hated about the Africa Twin. But it can't all be bad and it can't all be good. I've got to be fair about this bike. And these are going to be in no particular order. These are the five things I love about the Africa Twin. These are my personal opinions. You may agree, you may not agree. That's entirely up to you. That's what the comment section is for below. Go and leave a comment in there. Let me know what you think. I'm going to start with number one. And that is the ergonomics of this bike. I absolutely love the ergonomics of this bike. The bar to seat to peg ratio is nearly spot on i say nearly it's not perfect it needs some fine tuning i would like to bring the bars up probably 10 mil and make the seat just a tiny bit more comfortable maybe even come up five mil on the seat but as a stock setup this i have to say is probably one of the most perfect bikes that i have ever ridden off the shelf so to speak that fits me i am very very long in the leg not like a fucking giraffe i'm not a weirdo but i mean i'm quite long in the leg i don't mean i'm very very long in the leg i'm long in the leg i can flat foot both sides of the africa twin on its highest seat setting which is good for me so as i said i would like it just slightly higher as you can see my knees fit right into the tank and under where they're supposed to fit which is lovely for me on a lot of bikes my knees sit up here which is very uncomfortable so i have to say number one is the ergonomics of this bike it suits me spectacularly well the width of the bars is pretty much what the width of my shoulders are maybe slightly more i'm not fucking quite that wide but i'm quite a wide chap on the shoulders and quite long in the leg makes me sound like some kind of praying mantis but i'm not believe me i do look like a human i'm just a slightly longer one number two is handling and I don't mean off-road handling, I mean on-road. I mean for a big beast. This thing handles remarkably well. It's taken a little bit of fine-tuning and I've had some help with this on the suspension with uh, the Crumble. I don't know if you guys know of the Crumble, he's a YouTuber as well. I've had some conversations with this guy and the throttle was a little bit snatchy which caused the bike to dive and pitch a little bit. I don't know why, it just didn't cross my mind to tweak the suspension just a little bit to make it more stable and give it less dive and that's helped with the throttle response as in the pitching of the bike. So on road it now handles really well. It's got road tyres on, I shall let you know what the tyres are here. and. I have to say, it handles spectacularly good. You've got to remember, this is an adventure bike with a 21 inch front wheel and an 18 inch rear wheel. So on paper, this really should not handle that great on the road, but it does. Its center of gravity is low. It's got a lovely uh, linear torque to the engine, so it's uh, quite smooth and not brutal in its delivery, which is lovely. And it kind of suits my style of riding. I like riding this sort of bike. I don't pull a bike down like a sports bike. I don't hang off the side and try and get my knee down and ride that sort of way. I tend to sort of like push the bike down. I suppose it's like an off-road style. Even though I'm not off-road riding, I kind of uh, counter steer and push over the top of the bike, if that makes any sense. It might sound weird and look weird, but it kind of suits the way I ride this bike and I'm over the moon with the way it handles. If I stuck dirt tires on it, it probably would upset that and handle really poorly on the road because I'm 99% road riding on this. So let's go down here. Hopefully it's not too slippery. And I'll show you what I mean. Hopefully there's nothing coming the other way either. Yeah, I've got to be really careful. A 
little bit of lock up. That brings me on to number three, the sound of the engine. The, I love this engine, I love the sound of it. I absolutely adore it, especially with this Remus can on it. And one of the things I love about the engine is it's not too powerful. It is quite torquey, but it's only around 100 brake horsepower, which is enough for me. I don't need any more. I'm not a speed freak, I'm not a speed demon. This is not a sports bike, this is not a race bike. At the end of the day, this is an adventure bike that's designed to go off-road. So I don't see the point of having 120, 130 brake horsepower. It makes no sense to me. I will never use it, and if I did use it, I'd probably end up killing myself. So the engine for me is a big, big plus on this. It's not scary, it's lovely, it's tractable, it's so easy to use. The throttle is a little bit snatchy, but I'm going to dial that out and work on that. And we shall get it up to speed to where it should be, with not too much hassle, I'm guessing. But, yeah, the sound of this is one of the things that drew me to it. It sounds gorgeous. And number four is the look of this bike. I absolutely love the look of this bike. Now, I know looks of bikes are subjective. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, as they say. But in this case, it is my eye and this is my beauty. So what I do is when I get up here, there is a little parking spot at the side. I shall pull over there and have a little look round the bike and show you what it's all about. I think it's a lovely looking bike, but as I said, it's in the eye of the beholder. You may agree, you may disagree. Once again, leave your comments in the comments section below. Let me know what you think the sexiest bike on the planet is. That'll be a cool one to find out what you think is the nicest looking bike that you've ever seen. I mean, as in a factory bike, not as in a custom bike, as in something that comes off the shelf, something that suits you, something that you find gorgeous. I find this wonderfully sexy. There are other bikes that I find wonderfully sexy that I'll never ride because I just simply don't fit on them. But let's pull over in a minute and I'll show you why. Right, so we pulled over now. I'm going to show you over the bike a little bit. And uh, just this silhouette. I just find this, oh, it just suits me down to the ground. I love this style of bike. I love the... Not aggressive way it looks, but the purposeful way it looks. It looks like it's supposed to do something. <laughs> As in go off road, but not with me on it. Anyway, it's just all angles. I suppose because I'm tall and I'm a big chap, that it does suit me. So I find this thing, as I said before, ergonomically suited to me. So therefore I'm drawn to this style of bike. I love watching the Dakar rally and those sort of enduro races. I think it's quite cool. I'd love to go and do some desert stuff. I'm not so keen on mud, but dry stuff like this I'll do all day long if we had any around here apart from car parks. But back to the bike. I love the front of the bike. I love the way it looks. I'm going to turn the headlights on in a minute because I love the LEDs on this bike. With the 21-inch front wheel, it actually suits it. It makes it look more purposeful. I mean, they do look better when they've got knobby tyres on. These are the road tyres, which aid to the handling on the road, which is 99% of my riding, so these tyres suit me. And they do a wonderful job, to be honest with you. I like the bronze of the engine. I like this colour here. 
the way it's sort of like you've got the silver here you've got the bronze you've got the black and you've got this matted sort of like i don't know what you call it almost like a rag rolled effect i like that i like the stickers and the red and black it was a difficult choice trying to choose the color of it because i like the white one but i didn't like the gold wheels and i loved the matte black but then i thought it was going to be a pain in the ass to clean so I went for this one. The only thing that put me off this bike was uh, Fousey Tube bought one in these colours. And the geezer's a bit of a twat. Now I've got the exhaust on, it looks fantastic. It really suits the bike and as you've heard, it sounds wonderful. Let me just turn the lights on and I'll show you what they look like. You probably can't get this on the camera. But you get one that comes on full time and you've got these LED strips that come around the bottom. A bit like upside down eyebrows that sit under the headlights but at the top as well you've got these leds which in america they get the stubby ones which i had in my grom but these have got leds on these are cool at the back these don't stay on but they're leds and full led brake lights which just add to it it's just a bit of quality i mean the whole thing i haven't washed this bike in three months and it is dirty but it still looks good i mean an adventure bike looking dirty is not a bad thing I mean, look, <laughs> that's what the rim should look like. But I don't care. I didn't buy this bike to clean. I bought this bike to ride, and I love the look of it. I mean, I even like the dashboard, this area here that you guys see on the camera. I mean, I won't go on too much about it, because this is not a review. The outlook here, for me, is quite important. Same with cars and bikes. It's the thing that I've got to look at all the time. So this thing has got to be pleasing on the eye to myself, and it is. Right, number five is the luggage on here, the Honda luggage. And when I say the luggage itself, I don't mean the pannier. I'm not a massive fan of the Honda pannier. I don't like panniers that open sideways. I prefer top opening panniers because then you can stuff everything in there without it falling out when you open it. I actually love the system on here, the way they just sit in these lugs here and on here. And that is it. You use the ignition key to open and close them and it's one key turn and then you pull them off and it looks like this. it doesn't have a cage I'm not a fan of the cage on the side if I was to go touring I probably would buy a full cage metal luggage system but for what I need it for at the moment which is I have to take them on and off all the time for work and then mucking around when I'm out and about riding like this I never have them on the side but when I go to work and that I often put them on and fill them up with stuff so for me it looks better like this so that's why i went for the honda luggage and i love the system as i said i don't love the panniers i wish there was a top opening box but unfortunately i have to put up with the side opening box for now but i love that system on it so that concludes the five things i love about the africa twin there are plenty more things that i could probably list within those categories and go into fine detail but i won't in this video i wanted to keep it quite short and quite simple i mean there are loads of accessories you can get for this bike to make it personal to your choice which there are for most bikes out there and everyone likes to do their own thing to their own bikes i love this bike this is my bike uh, don't forget to check out all my other social media i am on instagram i am on twitter i'm also now on snapchat so go and check those out everything will be listed in the description below don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment in the comment section below i will always get back to all comments please keep them sensible and uh, of adult nature it's always appreciated doesn't always happen but if you're gonna hate make it constructive anyway as usual i love you all stay safe fish out That was just a bonus.